Hello, my name is Scratch Cat. Hello, my name is Scratch Elephant. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make an interactive image. A project just like this one. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first create a new game. Then keep the cat. Now there's going to be a concept in this video that, that we'll cover in the later tutorials, but I just want to introduce it to you. This concept is known as functions, and you can get there by hitting the my block section. Now a function is basically like a broadcast. It works exactly like one, but it is only for the sprite, and you can make inputs in functions. Okay, with that said, we're going to click make a block, name the block say, and add an input. A number of text input we're going to name this one text and click ok and as you can see this new block called define say text has popped up and what this block does is it basically tells the program what to do when the function is called and then now we're going to add a text-to-speech extension and we're going to start coding we're going to uh, say in this define say text block we're going to get out a say block and we're going to drag this input and put it in there. Then we're going to get a speak block and drag the text input to put it in there. Then we're going to say empty string. Okay, now if we just use a little tester code, like if we get out the say my block and fill whatever we want in there, it, it should display a speech bubble and it should speak the speak it so if you test it out hi as you can see it works perfectly so let's just get rid of that and we need to uh, put this in we're going to say when go clicked set voice to tenor we're going to get a forever loop we're going to say if touching mouth pointer and mouse down then we're going to get that new say block that say my block and we're going to say something like hello my name is scratch cat but really you could put anything you want okay and okay let's test it out now so if we click it it should say hello my name is scratch cat hello my name is scratch cat and it works perfectly. But now I wanted to keep track of my clicks so that the cat will say different things when I click it. Because right now it's kind of forgetful. If we Hello, click it my again. My name is Scratch Cat. If we click it Hello, again. Hello, my name is Scratch Cat. It just repeats everything. So we're going to make a new variable. And we're going to call this clicks. And this is really important. It must say for this sprite only. Because we're going to make a second sprite. And if we don't put that for, for the sprite only, it's all going to go wrong. So we're going to click OK. And at the beginning of this code, we're going to set clicks to 0. Then we need to make a few changes to this code. First of all, you need to put this if outside of this if. Then we need to say if clicks is less than 1. Then we need to execute this if. This if. And at the end, and, and then inside of this if, we're gonna change clicks by one, cause it's not, and well, it's not gonna say the same thing over and over again. Then we're gonna duplicate this if. Then we're gonna instead of saying click is less than one, we're gonna say if click equals one. And we're gonna type in something different, like scratch 3.0, or let's just scratch three is better than scratch 2 so now it should work and yeah so let's test it out now hello my name is scratch cat scratch 3 is better than scratch 2 so as you can see it works perfectly now let's make another uh, it's another thing it says if clicks equals 2 then we're going to say Scratch four is on is on its way, or whatever you want. Really, these uh, these strings, like the, this text, is just I'm just doing it because well, 
I feel like it, but obviously you're gonna have to choose your own text is on its way. So yeah. So if we click it two Hello, times, my name three is Scratch times. Cat. Scratch three is better than Scratch two. If we click it one more time, it should say Scratch four is on its way. Scratch four is on its way. So as you can see, it works perfectly. Okay, now duplicate this sprite. Then go to costumes. Uh, we want to choose a new costume. Go to animals. And I'll choose the elephant. Obviously, you're going to want to choose something different. And yeah, that's perfect. I'll just move this guy a little bit left. Move this guy up here. So, obviously, we're, we're going to need to uh, make this make this elephant say something different so we're just gonna get rid of this and we're gonna say if clicks is less than one then we're gonna say hello my name is scratch elephant and we're gonna change the voice from tenor to giant then here we're gonna say scratch cat is right because I'm running out of creativity apparently and this time we're going to change it by two I just feel like doing that and let's see if that works hello my name is scratch elephant scratch cat is right and as you can see it works perfectly Okay, so the final product should be something like this. And actually, before I start, I'm just going to sh I hide this hide this variable because I don't need that. So the final product should be something like this. Hello, my name is Scratch Cat. Scratch 3 is better than Scratch 2. Scratch 4 is on its way. Then if we click the elephant. Hello, my name is Scratch Elephant. Scratch Cat is right. Okay, and that works all good. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Tune in next time where I'll be learning about the pen extension in Scratch. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.